All right, so the very first thing that we want to do before we start any project is to inspect our space, inspect the concrete uh, that we're going to coat. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We're going to pretend that this is a garage floor uh, that we're getting ready to coat with our epoxy. So let's look around and see if there's anything that we need to address during the prep stage of our floor. All right, so here's the garage floor that we're um, going to coat with our metallic epoxy system. And what we want to do is find anything that needs to be addressed during the prep stage or anything that's going to be any kind of an issue. So I can see right here that there's a crack in the floor that's going to need to be uh, repaired. So you can see it runs pretty much the width of the whole uh, floor. So we'll go ahead and make a note of that, that we'll need to use some of our quick patch in order to handle that. And then as we move over, uh, something that's very common in uh, most garages or on most surfaces that you're going to prep for is some paint. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we're prepared to address that also um, during our prep. It looks like this floor is fairly level. Um, so we know that the epoxy's uh, going to flow uh, real nicely on this floor. Uh, there doesn't look like there's any real low spots that need to be addressed. I don't see any divots or anything like that. But if there was, that's something that would also be addressed with our uh, quick patch. So all in all, this floor looks uh, pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get ready for our uh, prep of the actual concrete floor. At this point, you would also make sure that there were not any moisture issues with the concrete as hydrostatic pressure could cause the epoxy to bubble and eventually fail. If you do have a moisture issue, we encourage you to contact us to discuss what options are available.